Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Dungeon of the Endless. We're going to the end. We're doing it. We're going to get to the end of this. We only have a little bit more travel. I don't... I'm pretty sure there's only two floors left. I don't think you have to actually do floor 12. I think you just have to go up to 12 and that's the exit. There might actually be three floors left. I don't know. Whatever. We'll find out. Uh, given that this is somewhat likely to be the last run of this... Uh, the last video of this run, or if not... At least the last video where this run is the only thing we do. I do want to note, a lot of people have given a lot of good advice. Uh, not all of which I am following. Rest assured, if you are if you have left advice and stuff, I'm reading it. I'm work I I will integrate it when we start playing on uh on easy. I swear to you. I'm I'm gonna reread all of it before uh before Monday's video. But for now, let's just try to get through to the end here. So obviously we want to build something here. I I wonder if it should just be an emergency generator. Should we just get this turned on right away? Because I think this has been very helpful so far. We're not in desperate need of anything else. Eh, you know what? Let's put up an industry generator. Start generating what we will need to build all of the minor modules that we're going to have to build as we go through here. Uh, that is a heck of a big skull there. Okay, this is embarrassing. Somebody pointed out in the comments of the last episode, uh, there's a bulldozer button for removing modules that you, you know, want to replace or whatever. You can use this to destroy the research nodes. I didn't even think about that, because, you know, I was like, this is for removing things I built. I didn't build this. But, yeah, it turns out we don't have to just accept the situation when we run into a bunch of resource, or research nodes close together at the beginning of a floor, so... Important. That's good to know. That will probably save us at some point. That said, I think we're going to leave this one here. Um, research resets getting really expensive. You know, technical HUD's not a terrible thing to have, probably. Especially as we get closer to the end of the dungeon and resources become less valuable. Um... Having having uh, major modules that do things for helping us actually get through the last floor is maybe pretty sensible. All right, we got a nice dead end here. I mean, I'm not exactly panicked because again, it seems like these things don't actually do anything. All right, I would really like to get a little bit more uh, dust. We could build the emergency generator in here to power this room so we don't have to worry about it. And then, obviously, also so that we uh, can work it for some dust. Although it's a little bit of a shame to build the emergency generator out of the way. You know, we could potentially uh, be using Rakia as a, a bottleneck defensive thing. You know, the way we have been doing. I think for right now, I'm going to hold off. The way we have been doing with uh, with Rosetta up till now. Okay. What is this? Oh, everybody moves twice as fast for eight doors. Okay, that's pretty all right. Uh, also, <laughs> I've been mispronouncing this word for years, apparently. And it's more, uh, it's more like Stila than Steel. So, also good to know. Uh, I guess I'll just keep, uh, we'll just keep going. Wow. Wow, we're fast now. Holy crap. Alright, we know we're not going to get any spawns here. I was kind of hoping that we would find some dust in one of these rooms. We've discovered some nano bros. These helpful microscopic creatures will repair your body and be the best wingmen around. With and HP regen. Uh, well... This lucky rabbit's foot is only one point of wit less... And I think I would rather have the 146 HP over the regen, especially considering that any time Rocky is in a real fight, uh, Rosetta's nearby anyway, right? I mean, that said, we, we have it in our inventory until the end of the floor at least. We'll figure out what we want to do with it. So... Gotta make some decisions here. Do I want to just bulldoze this so that I can put something underneath it? Because we are, like... Seriously low on resource generation here. Yeah, I'm going to. We finished our research, right? Yeah, technical HUD unlocked. 
All right, let's trash this. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to build the emergency generator here. She can work that. That'll give us the dust to run power to this room. And we can put up a science creator here just to ensure that we are, uh... We are fully powering our kip cannons, which I'm sure will be important. And you can come and work this. Ken can come and stand here. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that, I think. Of course, we actually have to find monsters in order to get dust from them. So maybe actually I'm gonna I'm gonna have Ken step back. Let's let ourselves potentially have a couple rooms worth of spawns. Okay, a little bit of dust. Helpful. We are really, really fast. There's no... Yeah, there's no door on the bottom side of the elevator, so this probably dead ends here. Unless it, like, wraps all the way around. Nope, just dead end. Okay. Enough dust for a little bit of light. Actually, you know what? This is... I'm being silly. We should swap these two. If we're going to have one person at a defensive bottleneck, we want it to be Rosetta, right? Alright, so now, how many rooms do I want to leave capable of spawning? Probably not more than... Yeah, we can... We can block one of these off. I'm feeling a lot better about our resource generation. Should probably spend some food. <laughs> Look at him go. Looks like we don't need to keep uh, Jalari in the room where the fighting's happening. So, let's uh, increase our chance of getting dust from the monsters, however slightly. I think the way this is written... Uh, where is it? Yeah, this. The way this is written, I think it's just... Uh, it's just that the dust loot probability from monsters that she deals the killing blow to is reduced. But it might be anything she's hit recently, I'm not really sure. Do I want to grab another level up for you? I think we've probably capped out skills on everybody. Or capped out which skills we'll have. We can continue improving our existing skills, though. Yeah, let's keep leveling up Jalari. She's pretty important. Plus 150 defense for everybody in the room now. Although, realistically, just for her, because of the scarf. Alright, so let's block spawns here, and... Okay, an industry reaper. That's actually pretty good. Uh, we're we're gonna end up with some extra industry this run because we can just barely build on any of our major modules. All right, I think I'm gonna swap these. I'm I'm gonna move Rocky to here, and we're gonna move Rosetta to this room, I think, and we'll build a food thing. And, man, there's not a lot of minor slots in here, and there's not a lot of minor slots anywhere around, either. Yeah, this is actually not a great place to make a stand. Well, let's put some stuff up. Let's, uh, let's go for a Kip Cannon. And... Tear Gas? It feels like dramatically dividing the defense of the monsters has to be pretty good. I wish I knew what defense actually did. Because if defense is a percentage reduction to incoming damage, then this has a, a tremendously different value than if defense is a flat reduction, right? Well, unfortunately, for the moment, I just have no idea. I have no idea how it works. That yeah, pepper spray is pretty helpful. Or we just go another kip cannon. Yeah, we'll just go for another kip cannon. The best offense is, uh, offense. I was going to say the best defense is a good offense. Obviously, the best offense is a good offense. The best everything is a good offense. Let's be honest. 
Yeah, as long as Jaleri is the one taking all the hits, we should probably have her be the one who, uh... What was that? Hmm. We should probably have her be the one who's absorbing the food for a little while. I think the level cap is 15, so we're pretty close to capping out on her. I'm gonna miss all of this speed when we lose it. So I guess, do we want to buy anything from the Reaper now? We probably want to wait until the end of the floor, right? Unless things get really desperate. Okay, well, we have found the end. Oh, they're killing death. Nope, never mind, they're not. I thought that's what that, uh... What that angry skull face was that he was being fought, but I guess not. All right, we're getting good dust loot here. Almost enough to clear another, uh, to, uh, fill up another room. So I guess we'll have you stand here for now. This is gonna get a little awkward. Like, if we run into a room and a bunch of stuff is in that room, yeah, this... this could be difficult. Well, we don't necessarily need to keep running for the entire floor. Um, we might, uh, if we find the elevator soon, we might make some changes. Sarah, at level 8. Sorry, we have a crew. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I'm super happy to have found more dust, though. How do I want to do this? I do have another major module slot here that I missed somehow. Oh no, because the, the Stila was on it, right. I mean, we could Tactical HUD. I don't think that the shop... I'm not sure if the shop will teleport the Reaper, actually. It might. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out what we want to do here, and like... I probably want either Rosetta or Rakia to come over here, right? We probably want somebody still operating this thing, so I'm thinking that, um... Thinking that we might end up losing some modules, which makes me a little hesitant to build there. But I think no matter what, I should build here. I, we're just... we're gonna need a lot of food. Yeah, alright, let's pull you back to here. This room has a, yeah, this room has a module in it. If it didn't, I would probably depower this, power something down here, and then have Ken stand here to prevent spawns from occurring. As it is, I think this is probably a reasonable place for him to be, and we're just gonna build some more combat modules. Sure, kip cannons. And here in this room, we only have two slots as well. Yeah, not ideal. So here, we won't have the healing effect from Rosetta. How does that change my strategy? Well, it probably makes the pepper spray a little bit more valuable. Something to draw attacks off of our heroes a little bit. Alright, let's push forward. I really, really want to um, continue putting dust into this area. I'd love it if we could get this completely lit. But I don't have to worry about it anymore. What is going on here? Alert dust. Okay, that thing dropped dust. There was a rapidly decreasing bar underneath it. Huh. We will, uh, we'll have to keep an eye out. Some stuff is going on on this floor that I am not familiar with. How many module slots do we have in this room? Also two. Ugh. Well. Kip Cannon, and you know what? Here, I'm gonna build a Neurostun module because we are... Really, really close to the elevator. <laughs> Alright, loot. Loot, and it looks like no bad guys. This is the wrong kind of gun, I'm assuming. Yeah. 
Generally speaking, the guns of the other class look like pistols. This fires debilitating blasts of compressed teen pop star music. Illegal on most planets. I get it, because the music of the kids these days. And lawns and whatnot. Huh. Oh, hey, look, it's the TF2 engineer. Mm, all right, still no spawns. Sort of lucky. Also, I mean, I would love to. Uh, I would love to kill some monsters and get some loot. And the longer we go without a spawn, the more rooms are exposed when we get the next spawn, right? But at least we have some extra bodies to help us defend things out here. Okay, dust. Extremely welcome. Alright, another band leader's baton. At some point, this area is going to be lit enough that we can pull uh, we can pull Ken over to this side because it'll be a small enough group for Rakia and the modules to deal with uh, just by herself. But we're not quite there yet, I think. Also, this floor seems to be extremely large. We're getting spawns all over the place. I'm going to have him run back. And you as well. Run to friendlies. I think we're going to be okay. Sarah over here is helping quite a bit. We're not taking any meaningful damage anywhere else. It looks like the enemies are ignoring the modules and just walking right through, which is great. I mean, this is the part where we're going to start taking damage. If indeed we start taking damage. We have enough science that our, our kip cannons are uh, pretty much capped, so... This long hallway of kip cannons. How is there so much dust just... Oh, the cannons, right. The, the cannons are killing monsters, the monsters are dropping dust, but we have to actually move into the room to pick it up. That is a good point. Something I have to remember. All right. Well, we're continuing this way, so I'm not I'm not missing any major. I guess, we could put something on this module slot, I guess, because it looks like the enemies are just going to walk past. So we may as well generate I don't know some more industry. We're not really spending it all that quickly, and we're not uh, able to get into new rooms all that frequently. So maybe maybe it is just level up juice even more. Right, this is a green quality band leader's baton, so it will be slightly worse. Yeah, big floor. We get. It looks like. It looks like we didn't get spawns, it's just there was stuff in this room. Go help that engineer. Nope, he handled it, never mind. Okay, I think we probably can pull Ken. We're going to get at most two rooms of spawns over here, and they have to run down Cannon Alley. I think we're fine. So that was not even a dead end. There's just a huge, huge amount of space on this floor. And they, they continue to get bigger, right? Alright, well there's our elevator. And no spawns. Now at this point, and we'll have to wait for a real a real spawn to see, but at this point we might want to stop lighting this area because as long as we're only generating a number of enemies that the uh, the cannons and rocket can handle, it's actually beneficial to have those enemies split up and part of them over here, part of them over here, right? Okay, we got a merchant of industry. So another hipster scarf. It is of lower quality than ours. A gun we don't need. Mill spec bracelets, which are just defense and attack power. Okay, so he has nothing. There's nothing of value. He's a low value merchant. We could try to build a shop somewhere and then have him man it and then, you know, do the whole, go through that whole thing. But I think it's probably not worth doing. Which means that the only thing to do is just push on here. At this point, I wouldn't mind finding another research node. Oh, is this room powered already? No, it is not. Just got a slightly lighter color. And there's some lighting effects in here, right?
even more science. What we extremely need is even more science. Alright, so let's keep an eye over here. See if Rocky is able to handle... And she's not that bad of a fighter, and she has a real weapon. Alright, we've all pulled back all the way. I really, really would like to get this room. But a couple more module slots, it'll be a nice... Uh, this would be a better place for our bottleneck. Not so close to the crystal. So yeah, I think she's okay. We can watch her health here. At the top. And Dell will fight some stuff as it runs through. But it looks like nothing's gonna stop and, uh, and actually engage him. Come on, one more dust. I don't think we're gonna have to spend a cooldown here. Yeah, we're okay. Delirious health was getting kind of low. Making me a little nervous. Uh, I mean... Food replicator? We could take this opportunity to put up another emergency generator since we're kind of okay on resources. We don't really need more industry, I don't think. And whatever we build here uh, is something that Rosetta is going to be operating. Yeah, I, I think it's food. I think it's just more food. Kip Cannon, we probably tear gas. And then, like, a couple of Kip Cannons for the focus damage. The Claymore will do good damage as they group up. I think this is sensible. Ken can stand here to prevent the spawns there. And we just keep pushing through. I think what we're going to find is that there's, this is just like a honeycomb of rooms. that Everything's connected to everything. Alright, five dust is cool. Purple quality loot is also cool. So I can't really tell if we're getting more monsters coming from down here or not. It looks like probably not, because the Kip Cannons are taking this uh taking these groups apart pretty quickly. We might want to cannon up that last room. Okay, stuff's starting to finally get through. I was wondering if, like, all of the monsters had already died somehow or something? Yeah, our damage output here is significant. I do wish that we had a better sense of how much of it's coming from the Claymore. Like, I, I would love to know if this thing is actually being helpful. I think I probably don't want to bother building a major there. Although I guess it looks like the monsters are not actually fighting our major modules. I'm going to build a neuro stun module in here. And then where's this thing relative? I mean, it's not going to be anywhere near. Kip Cannon, I don't know why I'm even talking about it. Let's try to make sure that nothing sneaks through. I think we can afford to spend a little bit more. What is, what's our major module cost right now? Low. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to put up another industry module. Try to make sure we're fairly rich as we go into the next floor. And I am intentionally not connecting these. We want the monsters to be coming in in a long, slow stream rather than hitting us from multiple directions at the same time. Alright, so I'm not worried at all about Rocky. I think that's that side is very under control. It's starting to be a lot of monsters, right? I think those guys were preparing to explode. That little like pulsing animation. That's a kill me now or I'm gonna blow up and damage everything in the room, I think. Yeah, man. 
Jalari with the amount of HP regen she's being granted by Rosetta is incredibly powerful. Okay, yeah, we capped her. All right, uh, Ken and Rosetta next. Rakia is probably last. I sure do wish we knew where there was another research node. I would have been a little less eager to uh, remove that thing if I had known how long it was going to be until we saw another one. But, I mean, also, then again, we did need to, uh, no new heroes, sorry. We do need, we did need to get our resource generation online. So how do I want to do this next? I guess we'll have, power this up, we'll have Ken stand here. I'm going to open this door, not this one. Again, this is just about, um, giving the monsters the longest path. We'll take it easy on the spawns here. Okay, I'm not going to be able to fight this thing, so, like, there's this bar decreasing here. Okay, okay, I get it, I get it. So that thing gives you dust. Gives you a considerable amount of dust as loot if you kill it, but it, um, it disappears quickly. So you have to, you have to do it fast. That's cool. That's an interesting thing. So, it, like, you're really incentivized to have a character who can run to a room and specifically kill that enemy, although... There's no way to get your characters to target specific enemies, so you kind of have to just get lucky with the targeting. Or you have to wait for the monsters to move out of the room before running in. That's, yeah, that's probably what it is. Okay. So when we get the notification that we're seeing one of those, we gotta move away from it. And then come back to get it after stuff moves through. And if you have a bunch of monsters who are really attracted to heroes and they follow the hero into the room, then that's just bad luck. Bad news for you. Let's see. We have enough power to run another thing here. Oh, you know, there's a module slot here. We could relocate our defensive structure to this room. It's not going to be cheap to do. I kind of just want to... Uh, I, I just want to go for more food, right? Like... A lot of our characters are still pretty far from max level. And if we cap out on food, then we don't really need to worry about food generators anymore. Is he... He's going to operate that? Is that going to work? Are we going to get benefits from an... Hmm. Maybe. Let's find out. I'm going to leave him there with that. The monsters are just running past our, our buildings anyway. So we're going to open this... I'm gonna fall back into this room. Okay, I think I let everything come out. Kill it quickly. Oh, I didn't get it. Right, everybody fall back to the place where we built the defenses. And yeah, we did gain a uh, food per turn. So he'll just sit here and operate our module for us. That's actually really great. And the monsters we're seeing on this floor have no interest in harming him or the module. <laughs> we can just keep our defensive structure right here. Yeah, that's cool. So I think we're not going to open either any of these three doors. There's resources to be had. So we will open them. But we can open them really late in the dungeon. After we've got things a little bit more resolved. And as we've lef left it right now, it takes... A long time for the monsters to stream around here. Like, we're not in a tremendous amount of danger up here. Unfortunately, we are potentially in some danger on this side. To the point that I think I'm going to pull Ken over here with me just in case. Just in case there's a ton of monsters in this room. Okay. Okay. Get over here. I have no concerns about our ability to handle these guys. And it looks like we're still... Rocket is still doing her thing over here. Maybe we should give her more XP. Since we're now reliant on her to actually win fights sometimes. No, oh, never mind. She's got it under control. Everything's fine. Who does get XP nest? And it's probably Ken. 
It's not super important that anybody in the party get XP over anybody else at this moment, the way we're fighting now. But we use Ken for more dangerous stuff, I think. You know, blocking, uh, blocking dark passages by himself and whatnot, like... If anybody needs it over anybody else, he's probably Ken. So let's light up this. We can just put up like a Neurostun module and a couple of cannons in here. We'll just do that for now. There's still a slot here, but I don't know that we'll uh, that we'll need to do the spend. Okay, this room has one door. Also has dust. And we're getting one of those warnings. We're not going to be able to take advantage of that. Uh, there's one over here, too. I wish that those showed up on the map. Right, I guess we get a, an exclamation point. But you get that exclamation point in every room that spawned enemies. Yeah, we're not going to be able to get to either of those. We could have thrown this door open, but I don't think that would have been wise. Wait, did he... Okay. Let's, uh... Let's deal with that. I forgot that I had, uh... I had placed him over here by himself and then hadn't pulled him back. That's alright. He'll be fine. Spent a little food that I wouldn't have had to spend if I was remembering what was going on. But at this point, he's completely protected. But the Claymore's got to be doing decent damage over here. Yep, when you use a man to make a room safe, you got to remember to pull him back eventually. I think I'm going to try to keep spawns really at their lowest here. What does this do again? This is the uh, wealth or death. You know, as much as I love wealth... I'm a little nervous about that death thing. I don't I don't actually know what it means by that. It, it could just be that it's like, oh, I'll spawn a bunch of monsters and then you might die from that. But it could also be that it actually just kills the hero who opens it. And I'm not taking a chance like that at this point in the run with a hero this developed. So, get bulldozed. Bulldozed? Yeah, get bulldozed. We can build a major over here. We could depower two of these rooms. Power these rooms. Move Rakia over to here. Honestly, I don't think I even have to power both of these. We have so many cannons built up in this area. It would be 65 to build another major. You know what? That might not even be worth doing. I don't think there's that much dungeon left. Although, we do have three doors to open. Hmm. Well, I can't build anything right at this moment, so we don't have to worry about it, but I'm not sure if I will bother to build anything. Actually, okay, we finished the dungeon, effectively. Okay. We got incoming. Yep. Alright, so we gotta keep an eye out for these dust monsters. It's not such a big deal on this floor. We're pretty established on this floor, but in the future... Alright, yeah, nothing's going to survive very long here. Uh, the Kip Cannons turn out to be very extremely good. Are we good down here? Yeah. She handled it. Honestly, she might be able to handle more rooms worth of spawns. So there's no way it's worth building anything new here. Uh, we also will probably we probably want to sell some stuff to this merchant because we have too many items, and that'll give us a little bit more industry to play with on the next floor. So we have three doors left. Just light that so we don't have to worry about spawns from that direction at all. I'm trying to think. Is there anything I want to do? I think we just 
open these, right? I don't think it's any more complicated than that. We already know what's behind them. We're not going to have any big surprises. We could get spawns on each opening. Yeah, and just open them because we need the resources before we go down to the next level. Your next level up is after the next door opening. All right, spawns? Nothing. So this is where things will get a little hairier because all of a sudden some of the monsters have a much shorter path. Opening this door is going to be the most dangerous one, I think. But most dangerous is you know, pretty relative. Like We're not really in danger. All right, so what's the new value on this? 75 divided by heroes. Yeah, okay, not bad. Run back in here to deny spawns, if possible. Okay, nothing. Easy enough. Let's sell off our excess gear to this guy so that we can carry some more industry down to the next floor, and then we're cool. Okay, so I didn't actually look at what this does. Wit minus one, attack power eight. Most likely jettisoned from a bathroom when the ship crashed. It's good to have a spare magazine around to read when you're bored. Well, there's no way we're equipping this on anybody. Uh, I don't think the Nano Bros are better than our current options for, uh, for wit. We definitely don't need either of these guns. I don't care about this or this or this. We could probably hold on to this, the hand vacuum. And we don't really need to go down to the next floor with more than 300 industry, probably. Or rather, up to the next floor. Okay, so let's figure out how we want to do this. Well, the standard thing we do is have heroes stand all around the elevator. Apparently there was dust just sitting in that room. So we want to power a lot of the rooms over here. We could probably depower, like, over to here. Yeah, this seems pretty reasonable. I guess we could depower that. He's probably still our carrier. I've been having him do it, but does that make sense? He's 35 speed. Nope, Jaleri has, uh, has outpaced him, and actually it should be Rosetta over anybody else. So we have the right people in place. All right. We have a lot of uh, a lot of defensive modules to hold people back. Obviously, the modules that are in depowered rooms don't do anything. Uh, but also, just nobody's going to catch us. And there will be heroes to help distract them and everything. This was a very successful, potentially penultimate floor. Again, I don't know if we actually have to do floor 12 or not. <laughs> But yeah, we're traveling up here. Yeah, it looks like we do have to do floor 12. Freedom is the 13th, not the 12th. Okay, you know what's great about this elevator? No monsters. Hey, that sounds familiar. Alright, a an elevator that only has two exits. I like that, that's a good start. You'll notice we're starting with less and less dust as we go on here. So what do we want to do? We probably don't, again, don't really need to lead with industry, given how much industry we banked. I think food's the only thing that makes any sense to put down here. Unless I wanted to do an early emergency generator just to get that online. Honestly, that, that might have been the right play. Alright, well, we are already hitting the point where we're running out of ways to stop spawns. <laughs> About as spread out as we can get. I need to just find a little bit more dust. Perfect. Dust and a lit room. Even better. Uh, you know what? For now, we're going to leave this. My hope is that one of these rooms will have a major module in it. 
But it looks like Rakia is in fact going to be... I mean, we can we can light one of these. Yeah, Rakia may end up being our, our bottleneck here, like this room. It's probably the thing we're defending. Okay, good. We did need to see more minor modules. Or more uh, module slots. How many how many minor slots do we have? Two slots in this room. We have five slots in this room. I wonder maybe I should put an emergency generator down here. Again, just like Rocky can park here forever, then operating that module and hopefully or rather Rosetta can park here forever. Operating that module and providing a, a spot to fall back to for defense. Then we just build something new here. Cause this is so much more defensible. But we also don't really know what we're going to run into as far as enemies that like destroying major modules. Because some enemies will stop and fight any major that they find. You know what, for now I think let's do this. This is definitely not the room where we build the, the emergency generator. Because we don't want that to be a thing that can get destroyed on account of how incredibly expensive they are. You can stand here. Oh good, we found industry. Not a lot of major slots on this floor. I guess we just keep pushing further away from the elevator, right? Oh wow, look at this room. And just barely not enough dust in it to power another room. That's a shame. Let's see here. If we... Nope, we just need to find 11 dust. We can't strategically depower anything. We need a continuous flow of dust all the way out to here. Well, maybe we will find 11 more dust. Okay, not a bad start. Here, let's get some spawns in here. This will stop stuff from running through the room so much. This is all attracted to, uh, to Jolari. And this thing can get through and it kind of doesn't matter, right? Like... Alright. Let's go and handle that now. Hey, stop. I don't know what you're doing, but stop doing it. It may not be dangerous, but it's definitely creepy. Alright, so four more dust, we can power up this room, set up to set up some real defenses. Come on, dust. Yes, excellent. And a research node. Actually super useful. Oh, we have one of those dust monsters in here. Awesome. Yeah, we gotta we gotta make sure we we kill those things every time they appear if we can. That's a cool thing. I'm pretty sure those didn't exist last time I played this. Okay, so. Questions. Do we want to demolish one of these and make it an emergency generator? Because if we do that, then we have the dust for another room. We could try to block off this area so that we could redevote people to defending here. This room's still going to be important, uh, both as a last line of defense for the crystal and because when stuff comes in through this door, when we start spawning things over here, we're going to need to be able to uh, to stand against it. I think I'm going to do it. I think let's pull this. I should have just built an emergency generator here to start with. And I think we're going to keep Rosetta where she is for now. Now that we have that, we can just light this room and that means we're all set on spawns over here now everything that spawns has to come through this and this is where we will set up for continuing to explore beyond that door I have no idea how much further we're gonna go we probably don't need to put up a bunch of minor modules right now we're at the point where we can uh, we can still get everything done with just hero damage 
could build another emergency generator. That's probably not necessary. Honestly, food replicator, right? And we have way more science than we need. We can definitely afford to do some research. Yeah, like this. Boy, that, uh, that module is starting to look very complicated. Okay, this is a dead end, apparently. Well, then I'm glad I didn't end up building a bunch of uh, defensive modules here. So we have no cool dust monsters. I guess we can run him over to here. Maybe if enough of them got onto the crystal, they would do something? It's, it's so weird to have an enemy that apparently can't affect the crystal. Okay, so... I actually probably want to move Rosetta back to here then. Because we're now... Well, we're still going to get spawned south of here. I'm trying to figure out. We're going to open this door next, I think. But this is where we should start building our defenses. So let's just go ahead and put some stuff up. I'm probably going to want... Tear gas. I'm going to put up Neuro Stun just because this room is so close to the elevator. And then we can just kip cannon from there. I guess probably one of these could have been a claymore. Yeah, I don't think it's going to end up mattering too much. And we're going to have things coming through here for a long time, so we can... This room is on all paths out of uh, the southern part of the floor, so we can put some defenses in there. Okay, nothing... yeah, nothing. Nope, never mind. Not nothing. No sweet dust monsters, which means we may as well just fall back and fight in Rosetta's room. Yeah, it looks like we're really not encountering a lot of uh, enemies who care about our major modules on this run. Which is nice, it does, complicate, uh, it does complicate things a little bit when they are interested in destroying your stuff, because it really limits where you can build to the places you can actively defend. This way, we just kind of build wherever. I probably shouldn't do things that take us down to three food, actually. I remembered what the number was, and I just pressed the level up button as soon as I got there, but we should make sure that we have enough... enough resources left over. Okay. Let's see if we can get down here in time. Nah, it's just about gone. Ah. Yeah, we shouldn't bring ourselves down to, like, zero food, just in case we get into a situation where we actually do have to heal a lot of, uh, a lot of damage. So, with another room worth of dust, probably... I don't know. Wait, I get over here and block spawns in this room, I guess? Oof. I don't think we're going to get there in time. Yeah. Oh well. We had a notification there that monsters were dealing damage to the research node briefly. I think that's probably... Yeah, it's not actually monsters attacking it. It's just monsters that were doing AoE damage to Jalaria as she was running through the room. Should probably start another research, actually. Auto dock shards are maybe important. It may not be the case that we can bottleneck everything behind Rosetta always. So we might want to pick these up. We wouldn't use them very often, but... Yeah, I, prob I probably want to have access to them at least. So Ken can stand down here.
It's not really a lot of value in opening this door, I guess. Okay, I think we're good. I think we can uh, push in here. Hopefully we will not get a ton of angry monsters in this room. Awesome. I'm super excited to see that we have a free hero here helping us play defense. Probably this is a place to build a major module. We're really not depleting our industry very quickly, but we really don't need science. And we might end up needing a lot more industry now that we're uh, we're going to be exploring out into rooms that have no power. So yeah, okay, let's put this up. Move Rosetta to here, I think. Yeah, because we're going to get monsters over here, but it's not too bad. I think I'll block block spawns in this room. And we can leave all of these doors for the end. Although, you know, with the situation as under control as it is, maybe I do want to go ahead and open... Like, this, opening this one doesn't change monster pathing at all, right? Yeah, let's, let's open these up to get a little bit more... Uh, hopefully a little bit more dust. But in general, more resources. If you can run over here in time to block spawns here? No, definitely not. But we didn't get any anyway. So we could cut these two rooms to power these two rooms, and then have everything travel up this center corridor. We aren't actually running... Well, run, we are running a module in one of those. So we would lose that. Now we just... We need a little bit more power. All right, I'm going to leave this the way it is so that it takes longer for stuff after spawning to get around to the uh, to the blockade so we have time to react. I'll leave him there to block spawns, and I will put up a preemptive Neurostun module over here, but I think we're probably okay to leave this area pretty untowered for the moment because we have three heroes worth of violence that we're able to unlock or able to unleash a zone device. Okay. What am I doing? Everybody fall back to the friendly room. Let them walk through here and get mulched a little bit. Damage output's pretty alright, I guess. Oh, see we have enemies that do want to fight our minor modules here now. Ken needs to repair things. We got a lot of dust on that, though. We can almost get this area clear. Although, again, given how much uh, how much dust we have, maybe we don't want to get the area clear. Maybe it's not worth it. Like, okay, so depower this. Power all three of these. Now everything's coming up through the same corridor. If we put minor modules in this room, it seems like the enemies are going to stop and attack here. We lost the neuro stun. Hmm. Not sure what the best way to handle this is. I mean, obviously, it's going to get a lot easier when we have enough dust to uh, to just power all this stuff and not have to worry about it anymore. We have the option of bringing her forward. That leaves nobody operating the emergency module. I mean, maybe we. Uh, Maybe we, for the moment, pull you back to here. Nah, we're okay. We're okay. I'm just, I'm worried about losing modules in this room and having to rebuild them over and over again. But you know what? Given how small the room is, actually, the slowdown doesn't really make any sense, right? That's not a useful module. So why don't we just put another Kip Cannon in here and... Hopefully the uh, the enemies who come in to screw with it will get blown up before they can uh, before they can do any real damage. So do we want to run another research? I, I mean, yes. Absolutely we do. I'm not actually using my smoking gun or my tactical HUD, but they're both potentially really good. Let's go ahead and open this. 
we're in a not very dangerous situation at the moment. You could, you, hey, open it from this side, you big idiot. All right. Okay, I was kind of hoping to get more spawns. The, the value of opening that door there was that we uh, we get to potentially trigger monsters without having to also have to deal with an extra full room of them while exposing this side of the elevator to more danger. Because we really, we just need a little bit more dust to really solidify things, you know? Okay, another research node. Probably have you fall back to here. His damage output seems to be pretty alright. Yes, he said this thing has glommed onto the crystal and prevented it from firing. Alright, here's the enemies that might stop and fight the crystals. Or the... yeah, they do. But they also get totally wrecked. Oh, we can have him fix those up. So I need to pay more attention to this area right as we uh, right as we open doors, so that I see if there's one of those dust monsters that he can run over and smash. Because if they're going to keep offering that stuff up to us, we should keep taking it. Alright, we can afford to just continue researching at will for quite a while. How many major module slots are we not filling down here? Okay. Yeah, it really would be good to get some more dust. We want to limit the number of spawns in this part of the level. And actually maybe try to increase the number of spawns over here, but we also want you to be close. I guess... I'm trying to think, like, I'm trying to think of what our rate of dust farming from the enemies is. How many rooms we want to leave open for spawns over here to get farm done while we, uh... Try to keep the enemy spawning low enough and you close enough to maybe be able to fight dust monsters. It's tricky. It's a tricky balance. And it's not helped by the fact that I know almost none of the actual numbers involved. Alright, what sort of merchant are you? You are a food merchant. Six wit and repair. That's okay. It's not 120 food, okay. Okay, is this an upgrade for... Okay, it's worse for you. It's very slightly better for you. So we'll see at the end of the floor how I'm feeling about our food. I think we probably have better things to do with our food than buy 6 DPS. Alright, uh, push on. Come on, tell me this thing. Ah, it's totally swamped by other enemies. I'm not going to be able to target it. That's interesting. It's not even going for the crystal. It's trying to come over to this room to interfere. Alright, one more. Okay, good stuff. So... I think we probably want two light rooms on this side of the elevator. Although... Uh, lighting this room instead does get us an extra module slot. Yeah, we probably need to do this. Uh, we don't really need more industry. Honestly, food. Just, just more food. We're doing just fine on industry. But not all of our characters are level 15 yet, and that is a uh, that is an affront that cannot stand. I'm going to bring him over here. We're more likely to experience real danger over here now. I think Rakia and the turrets can deal with two rooms of monsters. Honestly, they could probably deal with three rooms of monsters. Occam's Gouge. A new sword. It represents a considerable increase in uh, damage output. And it also has two wit on it. An artifact of the Endless, which damages both by physical force and relentless logic. Okay, yeah, that's a... 
a reasonable upgrade with no downside. Alright, I tried to run far enough away. I think I ran too far away. The plan there was to run far enough away that the enemies that hunt heroes would all move out of the room. But I, yeah, I think I, I went too far and didn't leave myself time to actually finish the job. It's getting to be a lot of enemies. But it seems pretty under control. Lady Jalari is surviving. Gotta wait for him to actually finish the repairs before we move him back out. Uh, yeah, we'll upgrade that as well. Our uh, our science cap for the Kip blasters is one ninety. Yeah. All right, so I just won't research below one ninety. This room's not powered, right? Yeah, okay. When it, I should have done that research down here, because when this room becomes powered, we should put a, a major module in it. That was a small error, I think. Okay, a dust merchant. Uh, at the end of the floor, dust is no longer valuable, obviously, since we don't carry it forward, so... We may buy a whole bunch of stuff from him. It doesn't seem like the monsters have any interest in fighting the merchants on this floor. Uh, I'm going to not spend food when it would take us as low as that would take us. We've got to be getting pretty close to the end of this one. No spawns. Okay. I think we can probably take this level up now. So he's going to get better at fighting stuff when he's alone, which is whatever. The extra stats from fighting stuff alone is not worth the extra danger from not being with Rosetta, you know? Okay, another hero that we do not need. And again, no spawns. This has been a remarkably calm floor, actually. Like, we've fought a lot of monsters in an, uh... Oh, an EMP. That's unfortunate. We've fought a lot of total monsters, but it hasn't really been that much for, you know, the... Oh, this sucks. <laughs> I don't know that there were two rooms that would have been worse. Yeah, we fought a, like a large total number of monsters, but relative to the spawns we could have been getting on this floor, it's really not too bad. Alright, I don't think there's anything for us to do but just, yeah, continue onward. We could juggle some power around to turn off spawns out here completely. Like, turn this off, turn that on, and have him run down here just so we don't have to deal with any enemies at all while the stuff is EMP'd. That's, yeah, that's maybe worth doing. Hey, he's going to just be living down here. He's not going to be fast enough to run up and participate in combat, I don't think. Well, maybe he will be. All right, he should have arrived by now, I think. Get back here to block spawns. And... Dust Monster, go! Ah. That one died a lot faster. Okay, yeah. He got here in time to contribute. That's a lot of monsters. We're probably going to want to do a hold the line here. Both, <laughs> both of our defensive skills. Right, yeah, they're dying quickly. Looks like we're probably going to have to spend a little bit of food. Yeah, again. And again... But it look, yeah, the damage output is starting to get low enough that the regen's countering it. Okay. It's getting a little hairy. Can't wait for this EMP to wear off. I suppose Rakia can be moved, right? Oh, there's a major module over here, and I've been ignoring it this whole time. Not that it would have done a 
You, you know what? At this point, is it even worth spending? We only got a couple of doors left. It's going to be like 12 or 18 food. But also, the industry isn't actually valuable. We have way too much industry banked. I overbuilt on industry modules. To the point that maybe I even want to demolish this thing. Eh, you know, we're probably just about done with this floor. It's probably not worth doing that. There's a little bit of food to be had. Should see about another research, baby. Uh, better, you know, if we're going to use the autodoc shards, we do want them to be good. Worth running a research on this one as well. Uh, we can improve the Neurostun module while keeping ourselves above the maximum Kip Cannon threshold. Yeah, sure. Why not? Floor is going to be over any minute now. Any door now. May as well get some good research in while we can. Oh, hey, we hadn't found the elevator yet. I kind of forgot about that. Actually, we probably just do this, right? And then when the EMP wears off, we can re-depower uh, a couple of these and power up a couple of these instead. Never mind, floor's over. Okay, it turns out we don't need very much dust at all to light the path to the elevator. So, like, even if we do the thing we normally do... Okay, that room's auto-powered. So, like, we... Put you here. You in the room itself. You're not carrying anymore, that's right. Okay. So we, we can spend 40 dust without impacting our ability to power rooms to make the uh, elevator trip safe at all. Let's have a talk with this dust merchant. So we have access to some happy pills. Yeah, those are not bad. Or wit. Those might be worth taking over the rabbit's foot. Radio. Leftover endless technology, the radiating adaptive ionizer is good for both skin care and muscle tone. That's not super good, actually. Uh, this lightsaber is, I don't think, an upgrade. No, uh, Occam's Gouge is a pretty good weapon. So, yeah, remarkably unimpressive, actually. But I think we are going to take the happy pills. I, I would rather have the attack power than the HP. Right? Would I? That's a lot of HP. Nah, you know what? I don't, I don't even... Don't even care about any of this stuff. I did not actually look at this zone device. 29 defense, 3 HP regen, and Neurostun Light. Discovered somewhere in the abandoned halls of the dungeon, this strange artifact generates a defensive field and smells like butter. That's... That's strange. <laughs> Why does it do that? Do we maybe want to give him some HP regen? He'd only lose one defense, and he would actually gain three speed. Or maybe she should have some passive regen, because she is often by herself. Yeah, actually, I think that makes more sense. Monsters in room, speed minus four. Okay, that's, that's fine. All right, well, I think we're done with this floor, so we can just power four more rooms. I don't know. These ones. And let's get out of here. This cultural exchange is about to get serious. Definitely uh, a phrase that has been spoken so many times. One of the... One of the great cultural signifiers of our society. All right, well, a lot of the monsters are going to get lost just, like, right here on the on the turrets. They're not going to get even to the original elevator before we're out of here. How embarrassing for them. Oh, 
Okay. 251 doors, 2,500 monsters later. We're finally ready to make our mad dash for the for the surface. And you know what? I don't want to leave this until, until Monday. Let's just go ahead and get it done. The video is going to get a little long. That's alright. I'm having fun. Presumably you're having fun because you're still watching. If you're not having fun, feel free to pause the video and come back when it will be more fun for you. Alright. Do we want to just go straight for the emergency generator? I kind of don't. Right? Because like this, this room is not super defensible. Whatever's on the other side of this door might be way better. I'm just going to put down a food replicator for now and if we end up bulldozing it later to put in a generator or whatever that's fine no this is yeah perfect this is what we wanted okay so we got another gouge is the one we already had green quality yes those are the same item all right here's where i'm going to put in an emergency generator We can put all kinds of defensive stuff in here. It looks like there's probably quite a bit of dungeon uh, around here to explore. And then the question is, do we want Rosetta to be the one sitting here? Yeah, I mean, there's no reason not to have both of these things operated. And if this is the fallback and fight room, then it makes sense for Rosetta to be the one there. It's going to take to max you out 245. Okay, yeah, that room is not powered, so we'll leave Ken there. And at this point, this is pretty straightforward. We have seen it happen so many times before. We're going to have to reconsider some things on the higher difficulty, of course, but for now, I think we can, we can push through here pretty quickly. Okay, dust and power. Pretty good. Not getting a lot of spawns early, which is nice. We are operating on most of the major modules we can see. All right, I think we can probably just put down a food thing here. We have we really have not seen a lot of enemies stopping to fight the major modules. I know that some types do, but I think we're okay. Yeah, we're okay to keep moving here. A dead end. Well, I'm going to leave you right here, I think, and we'll just uh, explore the other directions. We should be pretty secure. Ooh. Okay. Food generators don't generate food. Annoying. Yep, and the enemies are not stopping to fight the thing. Yeah, we're going to reconsider our uh, our power strategy a little bit here once this major module is freed up. Don't know what the deal is with that enemy. That's a new one. Actually, I guess let's have him stand here. Or, you know, there's no reason to do this this way. We can just power this now. Alright, so this is, yeah, half a food per killed monster. So we're just going to generate very little food for a little while. That's unfortunate, but not even a reason to move our uh, our operators or anything. Okay, so we probably want to depower this room in favor of this room so that we can set up another module. And I mean, I, th I think it's just food again, right? Food's the only thing we actually need anymore. So I would rather have Rakia up here on this food module then. Provide a little bit of defense. I think I think this is how I want to do this, rather than switching their positions. We're more likely to have combat here for right now. As that situation changes, we'll uh, we'll reconsider who's operating what. Okay, we got some of those bracelets. 
Okay. No special monsters to be aware of. I'll go deal with those guys after we uh, clean all this up. Oh, hey, they actually are attacking the crystal now. They're doing very, very small amounts of damage to it. I'm pretty sure they weren't doing any damage to it at all before, right? Okay. Well, uh, I don't think we got even close to losing one dust, so... Not a big deal. I might want to put up some actual defenses here, though. So let's go... Tear Gas, and then... Kip Cannons. Lots of Kip Cannons. Probably also, I guess... A Neurostun. We need to upgrade those Claymore Mines. Lots of direct damage, but we can get a little bit of AoE on the enemies when they stack up, like, 50 deep, like they like to do. Oh, hey, a J-pad. Pretty sure we don't actually want to equip that. Is anybody using... No, everybody's using stuff that is designed to increase wit or health regen. So those mil-spec mil -spec bracelets are not, like, strictly better than anything anybody's already wearing. Man, I really wish we had some more dust. Okay, hello, dust merchant. Hold on. Are we cool? Yeah, we're cool. Alright, we can go ahead and sell extra stuff to him. There's no sense in holding onto it for later. Dust on this floor is actually really valuable because we're almost done. So let's go ahead and sell that and that. We have this extra power suit. Actually, I don't want any of this stuff. I'm not even going to keep that. Okay, all of a sudden, things are so much safer. <laughs> for now. And remember, this is the last floor. All we have to do is find the elevator. There is no sense in generating resources beyond that. Once we find the way out, we are gone. I didn't already find it, did I? No, okay. <laughs> as soon as I said that, I was like, but you know, that's not the way I would have been thinking about it if I had already seen the elevator. Uh, it's probably not worth going down to one food for a level up. Alright, where the heck is this thing? Oh, we got a radio, which I do not have any intention of using, so... Thanks for that. It's a pirate suit? Double-breasted, pinstriped, and guaranteed to make everyone you meet hate you. Okay, so this also unlocks me first. Um... More defense cuts the movement speed, and we are having Lady Jaleri run around a lot during combat. It's possible. I don't think we want to wear this. You know what we want to do with it? We'll just power every room in this place. So now that I... Well, hold on. Now that we have all this extra power... No, we really do not have a lot of places to build major modules. There just aren't major module slots on the floor. Alright, uh, that Steela did disappear, so do I want to put up a shop? Just thinking, again, like, dust is the only thing that really matters anymore. We don't really need food. Yeah, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a shop and then we're gonna have you come over here and operate it and we're just gonna continue to generate increasing amounts of dust. And more food.
Uh, yeah, I probably want this to be the room where nothing spawns. Okay, the elevator is not on this side. That's a shame. Wow. Uh, big explosions. Big explosions that damage things in the adjacent room. I don't know that that's something that I've seen before. Oh, was he done repairing? Let him finish fixing things. Okay, I guess we explored a huge amount of space that did not need to be explored. We have one room left that can spawn things over here. I mean, is there a good reason not to just build emergency generators? We just make it so nothing is spawning over here now? We can redistribute dust a little bit if necessary. I think for right now we can continue on like this. Just run Jaleri back to here immediately so nothing can spawn here and so bring forward some huh. Apparently I left that room before it was clear. We're fine. Everything's fine. Yeah, I definitely, like, uh, I overdid it on the industry a couple floors ago. I was really worried about getting into a position where I needed to build a huge number of defensive modules and not being able to do it, but I shouldn't have been. Actually, I'm going to have Ken stand here. But it's way more dangerous for things to spawn next to the crystal than it is for them to spawn on the other side of all of these weapons. And then we can light this room uh, after we open the door, or maybe this one would be better. I don't know. I don't know what we'll do. So I can probably light that right now, and in that way, prevent there from being any spawns. Yes, yeah, so I don't know what that, uh, what that, like, weird wizard enemy is doing, but it doesn't seem to be having much of an effect. Fall back to here. The two of them together can do an awfully large amount of damage. So it seems like those uh, those explosive enemies just blow up as soon as you engage on them, or they start their blow up as soon as you engage on them, and then they uh, they don't move again afterward until well, I was gonna say until after they blow up. Obviously, they don't move after they blow up. You know what I mean. So it seems like all we have to do is just run a hero over at them very briefly. Are we getting stuff? We are not getting stuff. Man, this is a large floor. I mean, there's no reason to worry about any of this, I guess. Ah, I was hoping that the Claymore would appear. It reset again. I'm not actually going to do the research right now, because... Uh, you know what? It doesn't matter. Nothing's spawning over here anyway. So we don't need to keep the Kip Cannons at, uh, at full power. Man, I really wish this room had a major module slot in it. How do I want to handle this? I want to leave him operating this. I think we're like potentially we're going to get a lot of dust from a large number of enemies here. I don't really want to have us all fighting in this room because these crystal enemies do area damage, and so we'd be losing dust that way. So I guess the thing we do is have Rocky run down. We're going to lose two dust on the next door opening. No, that's pretty bad. I'm going to I'm gonna keep Jolari in here. We're going to run Ken up to here by himself to handle these things. Actually, they're not interested in... Let's... Uh, let's give ourselves some defense. That's some damage, all right. Okay, now they're interested in the crystal. I don't know what's going on. Some of them wanted to just go past. Making sure Jolari doesn't die. So forgive me if I'm uh, 
pausing a lot. A little nervous. Okay, so you probably saw there was a notification going on over here that looked like a, a big stag beetle ramming into a wall or something. There's these beetles, and they can break through doors, but it seems like they um, they only deal damage to the door as long as the wave is running. As soon as you get the all clear, it stops. I'm not really sure what the best way to deal with that is, or even if we really like need to deal with it. I think what I'm going to do is depower one of these rooms. It could just be this one, whatever. So that we can power this, so that we can put some modules in here. Let's go Neurostun, slow everything down, and then just like, Claymore and two Kips. That doesn't leave room for Tear Gas, and Tear Gas is probably pretty good at dealing with the Overwhelm, especially given the, the Claymore. How many turns are we off on this Claymore upgrade? Okay. So it won't be up for the next one. Yeah, so any monsters that spawn will have to deal with Rosetta. I th yeah, this is probably fine. It's probably an okay way to do this. We've just we got to find that elevator, man. All right, I think I managed to power that room before anything could spawn in it. Still don't know what that Staff to the Sky move is. It's very, uh, it's very you shall not pass, except we're not trying to pass. So it's kind of not relevant to the situation. Yeah, so you can see this is the the big beetles trying to break through the doors. Hey, these two are, uh, are a pretty good team. Get some defensive stuff. You could do more damage. Go ahead and just figure out figure out the damage. I'm not sure I needed to spend that food, but I feel I feel pretty good about having done it. Ouch. Let's yeah, we have a lot of food. Let's just go ahead and heal these two up a little bit. Gonna have to probably Oh never mind. I was gonna say we're gonna have to probably run one of them up here because there were crystal enemies getting through, but or, um, Blob enemies getting through, but they seem to have been killed by the explosion. I don't... That big explosion may do friendly fire damage. So I think what's happening here with there being so many monsters, yeah, is that we got a bunch of doors bashed open by the beetles. Which is not great for us. So I'm gonna light some of these rooms, so hopefully things will stop spawning. And I think... We're gonna pull people. I, I th We need help. There's too many enemies. Rosetta needs to get down here. You need to get down here. We just gotta, we gotta, everybody, everybody's gotta be on this. I'm gonna have Rosetta run in here and clean this up first. Now we can spend science. I haven't done this yet, um, but we can spend science to reset our ability cooldowns in case we should need our abilities more than once during this very difficult wave. That may be a thing we do. Okay, we got enough dust to light another room, so now we won't get anything coming in from that side. Did we pick up any? No. No major module slots. Oof. Okay, well, good news is all the doors are open. The bad news is all the doors are open. So let's, um... Yeah, the beetles... Bashed open all the doors, causing many, many, many enemy spawns. We lost all of our modules in here, by the way. Let's see if we can't rebuild them real quick. Especially the tear gas. All of our abilities recooled down, which is cool. Just gonna pause periodically to heal. A lot of explosions. A lot of explosions. Dealt with all of the blobs. I mean, like, there's no, there's no purpose to food, right, at this point. 
actually true of science as well. So we may as well just go ahead and restore these cooldowns and activate them both again. And yeah, there's some enemies that are low on health. I'm serious, uh, serious slowdown here. You know what? I don't. That's fine. I'm not that worried about these things. Uh, it turns out you have to take the beetle thing a little bit more seriously than I did. But it looks like we're actually through the worst of it, probably. Somebody should step back and handle this. Yeah, okay. We're good. All clear. So, let's depower a bunch of these rooms. I think we can power everything over here. Give ourselves a little bit of extra breathing room there, and then, yeah, we're all set. Let's... I was gonna say, let's go home. The place we're going, I guess, is home. It's our new home. We, we don't have any choice but for it to be our home. Turns out the spaceship is very crashed. It can be recovered, and if you, uh... If you do the right things in Endless Legend, you will see that. Okay, that was... Oh, really, you're bored right now? This is the moment when you are bored? Also, new high score. And here we go. Sweet victory of a sort. It's a kind of victory. None of us died. That I, That's what's important. There are downsides. You could say that there are downsides to this situation. So, I mean, as you know, if you've played Endless Legend, Auriga is maybe not the safest place in the universe. Not the friendliest. Uh, and that probably is why they stayed in the top levels of the facility. For the rest of their, uh, rest of their society's time. So that was actually not the highest high score I've ever had, but overall, a pretty good clear. So hopefully you can see how that could get pretty difficult. And, uh, I guess... If you lack that uh, that level of imagination, come back on Monday. You won't have to imagine it anymore. I do want to show you guys the album real quick here first. So there is a little bit more plot than has been shown. This, uh, this album, when you first get the game, I think this is the only image you have at first. And then as you play, uh, these fill in. I'm not sure exactly what fills all of them in. One assumes that the images that are character specific are filled in by playing that character. Uh, and then there are some, there's some enemies as well, yeah, which are filled in by killing those enemies. But you can still, you can see I'm still actually missing several pictures. Oh, hey. Okay, I wonder if we got these, these pictures during this run. So, these are the, okay, Weakens Heroes. Kill it with mods or run away. Okay, I get, we didn't really see that, but... It's so hard to tell. Our heroes were probably weaker. If I had been watching their stats, I guessed, while it was uh, while that was happening, maybe I would have noticed. So where do we make a go of it? Out here or back down inside? The air isn't all that fresh, but at least you see the monsters coming. A lot to think about. Old place, advanced tech, almost like magic. Yeah, it's very similar to magic. So, that is going to be it for us for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Come back next time on Monday. Uh, we're going to lose a couple while we're learning. And of course, if you have more advice, please do leave it in the comments below. I'm going to go back to the previous episodes, like I said, and uh, reread everything, and hopefully approach this with some uh, reasonable strategies. We'll see you then.